All right, we're about to put the bonnet on, finished all the front suspension and putting all new rubbers through and all that sort of thing on both sides. Motor worked out good, so time to go on for the bonnet here. I reckon that's a win for me. Doing pretty well today. Oh, bonnet going on now. I'm liking this. Just got to line it up with the old paint mark. Hopefully that works. Should do. There's no, the holes don't adjust much, so that'll be good. This is the, the bonnet off the other car over here. Like I was saying, I was going to swap them around. That one will go under there. Get this button buttoned up, closed up. I might eventually, the motor that came out of this, I might put a set of rings in it and put it into that car. If the white harness and that works okay and the computer's still okay. So yeah. Get it all fixed up. That'll be a project over there. And that's good. Spanner's in my pocket. Looking good, eh, hey, Dale? Yeah, sure is. Bonnet on. All new rubbers right through the front end. So that washing machine worked? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> June's done, not liking me bringing home all these washing machines. And anyway, they all work. They've all been purposed out, repurposed I should say, except for one little one. I've got one. I claim one. <laughs> you claim one, did you? Yeah. Now this is going along pretty well actually, better than I expected. Feed that through here. Yeah, the only thing that's missing is the ball bar and the. Um, oh, that'll that'll come. Driving it'll, lights. We'll get it all registered and everything like that first. Get it road ready. Then we'll look at that later. Get it all so it's all on the road. <sighs> right, that's all done. Rub it there, rub it there, rub it there, 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 they're all there, sweet. See if she closes up now. Button it all up. Yeah, that's lining up. Ooh. Sweet. Look at that. Like a brand new one. Got all the tyres on this side done. All the brakes are good. I've just got a mid-end tyre from this for this back one. I'm going to do that tomorrow, and uh, I've just got it sitting ready there. All the brakes are good on that. Tyres are good on the front. Um, just down to tomorrow, I'm picking up a set of car ramps so I can put the car up on its side a little bit to fix the exhaust. So that's my project for tomorrow, and uh, we'll get that tyre fixed as well at the same time. I'll see you tomorrow. We got our new tyre put on. I couldn't get it mended. There was too many goddamn holes in it. Anyway, on the agenda today, I've got all four wheels on. You can see I've moved from where it was. Going to pull the tub line out today because there's no holes down there for drainage and that sort of thing. And I'm going to put the hard top on as well and fix up the tar board. The tar board light handle here is a bit broken. And uh, yeah, I'll get to it, get it done, I suppose. Got everything undone. Just got a bit of leverage. I say a bit of leverage, I mean a lot of leverage. They're not the easiest things to come out. I 
I will be putting it back in of course, but I've got to do these holes, I've got to pull it out to do the holes. A bit of a bugger actually. best of things to come out at any time or day. Once you get them started they're good. There we go. Should be right to come out now. Lift straight up in the middle. Push him in from the outside. Get past your latches up the top. Up the front there, I should say. And we are done and out. Gives me a chance to clean it from underneath it too. Oh, the shit underneath that. Oh. Big tub liner. I'll be able to get all the leaves out, unblock all the holes. There's a hole there and a hole there for drainage. Oh, I even found a nut. Probably won't use that one, but anyway, I'll get to and clean that out. All right, got it half cleaned out. Get it into a dustpan brush. Jen's just went to get that for me. Then I'll hose it out. I got it for you. Right yeah, I know you did. There's only leaves in that, so I can put that on the ground. Oh, put the tub liner back in. Got it part way in. It's just reverse of what the first putting it in was, uh, pulling it out was, I should say. But it is a little bit different. Uh, just a little bit. There we go. It should just flop in. Look at that! Easy peasy. Just gotta give it a boat, give it a boat. Just push in. There we go, that's that side. While I had it out, I uh, made some breather holes here. So if we get any fluid or anything in there, it can drain out through the front. Because nothing seems to drain out the back because the car's in a, on a nose dive all the time. Always going downhill. That's the way the car's made. Yeah, brush for a second. Hope I don't break the handle. Probably need something a bit stronger than that. Yeah, probably need a screwdriver. I'll probably have it in by then anyway. I <laughs> told you I'd have it in by the time you went and got it. <laughs> anyway, I'll get that screwed back in. Line it up the hole. Boys are back at it again, rumpus turn around. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. 
and that's that in there. I gotta get these aluminium brackets out first before I can put the other half in for the hard top. I'm just cleaning off the uh, dirt and dust off the old piece here. It's already got a bit of foam on there, so I'm not gonna worry about trying to seal it. That piece of foam should be good enough. I've already gone ahead and taken the two pieces of aluminium off that I was supposed to, so that this can go in. Just give it a good brush off, get all the old dirt off it. There will be more dirt in the future. I know that. Just being clean and thorough, so I know it fits. All right, we'll get it in. couple of screws in the side over here one there and one over there and this job is done all right seem we've got that all done at us it's a bit of an echo but um yeah i'm going to get into the tailboard now got all the bolts undone for the for the liner I'll just put the liner in there i'm going to take all of this out so i can get to the latch quick and simple with a tech bit 10mm socket on the end of it and just whiz it off. I'm going to do this to fix our handle. Our latch. We're going to um, be taking this latch out and putting another one in. Because this one's broken. I was able to uh, get the old one off and the spare one off as well so it just unclipped from there on the other rod up here so that was just a fluke I've got to really adjust it and that sort of thing so I know whether I'm going to be right you don't need to take all of this apart to actually take it out so I'll just put this one back in Oh, you can't help me, Google. Google's going off now. Look at that. What do I do with that nut? <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Things happen, don't they? Anyway, we'll get this all finished. Get it in. a lot straighter that's better than what it was not shaking that's good that's marvelous that'll be down to putting new tail lights in for the number plate that's all this thing needs now button all this up put it all back together Done like it in it, Alan. Even opens. Yeah, I'll put another latch in. But we've got to pull it from this side. You've got to push it in first because it's fairly tight. That's what you want. You don't want it shaking. Anyway, I'll leave that like that. Good old jumbuck. And, uh, go and have some lunch and lunch, brunch, whatever you like to call it. And then I'll get in and put some new bulbs in into the number plate.